Well, it's time for our health report. And joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Madu with a look at global autism. Lino. Well, April is World Autism Month. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says about 1% of the world's population has autism spectrum disorder, ASD. ASD is reported to occur in all racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups. About 1 in 68 children has been identified with autism spectrum disorder in the United States. More than 3.5 million Americans live with the disorder. There are no official statistics available on the prevalence of autism in Africa. However, medical experts say the condition is on the rise in Africa and seems to be on the increase in other parts of the world as well. A lot remains unknown about prevention and treatment of autism, but experts and advocates are stepping up their efforts to improve the lives of those living with autism. Now joining us live from VOA's New York studio is Molly Ola Piney, founder and CEO of the Global Autism Project, an organization dedicated to promoting the acceptance and integration of individuals with autism worldwide. Ms. Piney, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Great. Give us your take on the numbers that seem to be increasing when we look at the statistics uh, 10, 20 years ago and now. Is it because there is better diagnosis now or just more p children are being affected? What is your, your take on this? Yeah, there's a lot of debate about what that increase has to do with. For our organization, you know, we're really focused at the Global Autism Project on the kids with autism who are not yet identified even by their own community um, and on increasing awareness in the community so that people who have people, um, children with autism are able to identify them. It's incredible because a lot of people are still not aware. They are not aware of the signs. They are not aware even if they Absolutely. have the child. And the, many, many of the children are being diagnosed around the age of four. So how do you address this uh, concretely on the ground? What do you do? Yeah, what our organization, the Global Autism Project, does is we partner with local organizations on the ground, on the continent of Africa, who are already providing services to children with autism. Um, and they reach out to us. They ask for a partnership with us. We go through an application process. And then we form a partnership where we work with them to, to provide uh, the services on the ground. Our role in this is really on the training. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, for children with autism, what seem to be the most pressing need in, in terms of care? Yeah, that's a great question. I think, you know, one of the most pressing needs is absolutely for um, awareness and for a community to accept the children. They're, um, what our organization trains in is something called ABA, Applied Behavior Analysis, and that's what we use to train teachers, uh, that's what we train teachers in so that they can teach children with autism effectively. How much impact have you seen in when you train the, the, t the teacher to train the children? Is ABA making a big difference? Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, one of the things that is the most exciting about the work that we do is to have a child in a community who is potentially, you know, somebody who no one was aware even existed and they come into an autism center and they receive training and they're able to communicate their needs. I think that's really one of the biggest things is having children being able to communicate their needs. So what role can community play to, to really help this global effort to address autism? Sure, I think there's a big role. One is, you know, around acceptance. We're calling this month, it's Autism Awareness Month at the Global Autism Project, we're calling it Autism Acceptance Month. I think acceptance of people with autism is very important. And I think when the community can learn to accept and appreciate people with autism, they can then get services to these children to help them um, succeed. And very quickly now, when they become adult, what do you see? in terms of their, their needs and how can it be really, what kind of help do they need? Yeah, that's an excellent question. You know, one of the biggest issues right now for people with autism and a rapidly aging population is employment and a lack of employment and underemployment. And, you know, we employ adults with autism at the Global Autism Project. We encourage our partners around the world to try to employ people with autism as well. And that's really, I'm, everyone just wants to live a meaningful um, life and contribute to society. And very quickly, what do you hope to see in the near future in terms of new research? 
Um, in terms of new research, I think research just about how we can help people uh, integrate into society a bit more. Okay. Molly, thank you so much for joining us today from New York. Thank you so much. It was great being here. And that was Molly Olapainé. She is founder and CEO of the Global Autism Project.